Hi, today we're having a go at photographing Gargany. Now, I've always rated the Gargany as the most difficult of the common British dogs to photograph. They're on the small side, they tend to be a bit shy, they keep away from you, and they often go into the reed beds and hide away as well. So over the years, I've not photographed Gargany very often, but I had an email yesterday telling me there was one here in one of my local parks in Birmingham, and the email mentioned it was of unknown origin which means it might be a captive bird. I've come along to have a look anyway. It, it is very tame, very approachable, unusual for Gargany, but eventually when it came out of the water onto the grass, it's got no leg rings. That means it's very unlikely to be captive. So the other reason it could be tame is it hasn't come across human beings before. At this point, it doesn't know what a dangerous species we are. It could have been it spent most of its life in West Africa, that's where they winter in West Africa, and not come across people there. There's some pretty remote marshes. So it's turned up in here in Birmingham for some reason and doesn't know us yet. Now we're halfway through March, it's still raining. It's been raining in the UK now for a couple of months. We're having record rainfall levels. It's been raining all morning so far. It's just dried up, which is when I can put this camera out that I'm filming myself. If I put this out when it's raining, I get water droplets on the lens and then you can't see anything. But it's still a very gray day and therefore the colors on the water are terrible. It's not attractive. If the wind would die down, and it's not very windy, it's just a little bit of a breeze, but if that dies down and you get smooth water, then you can start to get nice reflections. And at the far end, over there, it is a bit smoother, and if the duck would go up there, I could get some better pictures. It's this silvery water that I really don't like. It's the reflection of the sky in the water and this just black and white mixture. It's very rare that I find it looking attractive. Now the duck didn't go up to the left hand side of the lake very often, but when it did, I was much happier with the pictures. It's almost a brown coloured water there. And I think that looks far more attractive. And the less the wind's blowing, the nicer the colour looks in that water too. Notice I'm also low down here. I've got down lower, that also improves the picture. The floor was particularly wet because of all the rain, so I was reluctant to lie down in it. I would have been absolutely saturated. So I'm using the rear viewer on the camera. Now I often carry with me a camping mat so I can get down on the floor and stay dry, but there's a limit to how much you can carry. And we've got one heavy tripod, camera bag, camping stool, and then the tripod on the right is the one that I use to hold the camera that films me. The other problem I had with the Gargany, it was very fast swimming and going up and down the water with its head quite down low. It's not really posing for you. Occasionally it would display, but it's really just on the move all the time. There's the display, throwing its head back and calling at the same time. and it's displaying mostly as a female mallard. Quite frequently the bird is taking off and flying around, especially in the company of a female mallard that it's taken a fancy to. So at the moment there's a male and female mallard gone right up there 100 metres or so. The gargany went with them and they're walking about now on the grass. And the temptation for me is to go up there and see if I can photograph them on the grass, but it doesn't look very natural to me. It's not where I would associate a Gargany to be. So I'm thinking at some point they're going to fly back again. And it's about 100 metres, so I'm going to get plenty of warning when they come. So I'm just going to stand here, got the camera set up for flight photography, and wait for them to fly back. Because when they fly back, they're going to fly to the lake. So I'm likely to be in that flight path. So for doing a bird in flight, I'm going to handhold the camera. I don't have to worry about my settings. All I've got to do is turn the top dial to C1. That's where I, I've saved all my settings for birds in flight. And that's it, I'm ready to go. The plan worked well, they did fly back. Unfortunately, the Gargany was sticking very close to that female mallard. And only in one picture did I manage to separate them. Now I was saying I don't want the bird on the grass, but how about here? where there's these puddles. This is photographically the best place. 
I want that gargony to come here. But I've got no way of encouraging it to do so. I've just got to wait. But it does keep coming out on the grass. When it does, it's just got to walk over here. This was the first time it came out of the water while I was there. So here I was able to reassure myself it had no leg rings. You can see under the water sometimes to make out whether it's got leg rings or not, but better on the land. Now there is a concrete edge to the pool, but you can just about hide that by getting down low. Two mallards and the gargany are out on the grass again. They're coming in this direction. Hopefully they're going to come into one of these puddles. They should do. Ducks like water. Well, they did eventually arrive, but then I had the next problem, is once it's up on the land, this gargany spent a lot of time just sleeping, or with its head just tucked in over its back. It wasn't very active. And the other problem I got is the female mallard is only just out of the picture, so I had to keep moving my position to avoid her in the photograph. She was photobombing me. Now all of the stills pictures are taken with the OM1 Mark II. I've had that for a couple of weeks now. Am I excited about it? No. It's very hard to tell the difference between the Mark I and the Mark II. And eventually I'll get round to doing a review on it. But the advantages seem very small to me. Thanks for watching.